adding integers they have the same sign negative and negative the answer should be negative then you add 14 and 14 28 that works whenever they are the same sign whether it's negative or positive you just add them keep the sign when they are opposite signs negative and positive find the difference 46 minus 27 is 19 your answer should have 19 in it pick the sign negative or positive of the bigger number 46 is bigger it's negative your answer should be negative now when it's one long problem go left to right one step at a time negative 5 plus 8 3 then leave everything else the same until you get to that step from four steps to three three plus negative one is two leave everything else the same I'm just copying this down here then I get to this step two plus negative six is negative four from beginning middle subtracting integers is adding the opposite instead of subtracting I'm adding the opposite the opposite of negative 22 is positive 22 you can even put it in parentheses if that helps negative to positive 8 plus 22 is 30 next still subtracting I add the opposite the opposite of oops, sorry of 15 not negative 15 the opposite of 15 see this negative is a plus now the opposite of 15 is negative 15 now it's negative 1 plus negative 15 they have the same sign negative I add them together 16 negative 16 so just to clarify there's a negative out here this is really positive negative 1 minus 15 negative 16 uh, this is kind of hard to read. It says 12 minus 19. I add the opposite. It's 12 plus negative 19. Negative right here, or minus right here, becomes a plus. Positive 19 becomes a negative 19. 12 plus negative 19 is negative 7. Now here, negative 10 minus negative 5. Add the opposite. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. Negative 10 plus 5. First, they're opposite signs. Negative 10 plus 5 will give you negative 5 because the bigger number, 10, is negative. My answer should be negative. The difference between 10 and 5 is 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. That's how I get the number. The sign is the one with the bigger number, negative 5. From negative 10 minus negative 5, middle step and answer negative 5. Multiplying integers positive and negative I can draw this face I have a positive circle positive I have a negative circle negative my answer should be negative 5 times 7 is 35. Next negative 3 times 12 the face I have a negative right here circle a negative. I have a positive, circle a positive. My answer should be negative. 3 times 12, 36. Answer, negative 36. Negative times a negative. Two negatives. I circle two negatives. My answer should be positive. 8 times 9 is 72. Dividing integers, same rules as multiplication. Negative divided by positive should be a negative. 66 divided by 6, 11. 56 divided by negative 7. I can do this trick again. Negative, circle negative. Positive, circle of positive. Answer negative. 56 divided by 7, 8. Negative 8. Now there are three numbers to multiply step by step one at a time negative two times negative five is ten then I bring down this negative three 
10 times negative 3, negative 30. So left to right, one step at a time. Multiplying fractions. First, there's a negative and a positive. So follow the same rules as integers. Negative, negative, positive. Two eyes and a mouth. I have a negative, circle negative. I have a positive, circle a positive. My answer should be negative. Then I multiply straight across. 15 times 4 is 60. 16 times 5, 80. Take this fraction and simplify it. Both of these numbers can be divided by 20. 60 divided by 20 is 3, 80 divided by 20 is 4, and remember my answer was negative. It has to be negative 3 over 4. Negative 3 over 4. When multiplying and having a mixed number, this mixed number needs to change to an improper fraction. To the bottom denominator, 3 times the, the whole number, 2, 3 times 2, 6. Then add this number, the numerator, 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 8, and then use the same denominator right here, 3. And it was negative. Negative 8, negative 8 over 3 times negative 1 over 4. Negative times a negative is a positive. 8 times 1, 8. 3 times 4. 12. And then simplify this by dividing by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the, I took 2 and 2 thirds. That's the mixed number. I made it into 8 over 3. 3 times 2, 6 plus 2, 8. 8 over 3. That has to be done first, right here, to multiply straight across. After doing this first. Some extra notes. 1 over, or 1 and 1 fourth. This mixed number is the same thing as 1 plus 1 over 4. So it's not multiplying 1 times 1 over 4, it's 1 plus 1 over 4. Now, if I wanted to change this to, a, it, to an improper fraction, do 4 times 1, 4 times 1, 4, then add 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1, 5. I keep the same denominator that I had here, 4, 5 over 4. That makes sense, because 5 over 4 is 1.25. When you do 5 divided by 4, you get 1.25. And if you do 1 plus 0 0.25, that is 1.25. I got 0 0.25 by doing 1 divided by 4. See? Same decimal, same decimal. Just different appearances. Also, whole numbers, such as 2, can be made into fractions by doing 2 over 1. Because 2 over 1 is still equal to 2, the original number. It's just I made it into a fraction to fit my needs. So when I want to multiply across, I can.